of it is realizing your parents are real people oh that is why she was so tired all the time one part that nobody really talks about when you're adulting is the people part if i cry mom is gonna fix it people will turn into family real quick there are people who just click with you the bottom line is a lot of us are surviving hi <laughs> hello welcome back to another video with more There is this feeling that comes with moving out for the first time when you eventually leave your parents' house and you're like, freedom, right? There's this feeling that comes with that. It's, it's the realization that you are now responsible for everything. What you eat, where you sleep, where you go, it's your responsibility and nobody's going to do that for you anymore nobody's going to make sure for you anymore i mean yes you get a few reminders here and there from people from friends but life is about to happen to you and that realization kind of just makes me question a lot of things as to like how did our parents do it how did they run the whole house how did they make sure we were fed? And even with kids in the picture, with us in the picture. And it hits me that they were also just figuring things out. But I mean, that would have snapped in my mind instantly as a kid. I'm sorry. As a kid, they were my superheroes. They were the people who if i cry mom is gonna fix it right but growing up and realizing they were also just working things out for themselves as much as we are makes me respect them a lot more don't get me wrong i respect my parents but then the realization of the sacrifices they've done while i am in that position makes me just realize how much work they put into us because i mean sometimes i'm like why are you yelling i just didn't do the dishes but they are yelling out of frustration because they did all these other things and you <laughs> forget to do just the dishes so growing up now and having to work run a business run my life i see why my mom didn't have, have as much fun as I thought she should. Like, it's not like she didn't want to make friends. It's not like she didn't want to, you know, go out there, have fun. But if you're out there having fun, who's going to take care of your house? And it's the same position. If I'm out there having fun, who's going to run my business? Who's going to do my responsibilities? So it's not out of a place of spite. It's more like, oh... That is why she was so tired all the time. That is why they were this. That is why they were that. It, it's like back to back realization of why certain things were the way they were. I think one part that nobody really talks about when you're adulting is the people part. I mean, people do talk about it, but the people part is the most tricky because, you know, you make friends you people will turn into family real quick there are people who just click with you and some time down the line these people become strangers and you're supposed to move on <laughs> you're supposed to move on you cannot pause the melodrama over there and say okay rewind i'm gonna go back and fix that you can try to fix it while you move on but then it's not a script it's not nobody's sitting there going to edit it for you it's happening in real time and it's not going to change well, growing up my parents had very close friends 
like i can count them maybe four or five and i was just doing that at least the only friends they have i understand now because people change seasons change things change and people always move on and if you're going to have to always deal with the emotional baggage of losing a person every time it hurts so when you find a few good people that no matter what you can work things out with them you stick with them now i understand why they did those things because i'm like what how how are we supposed to just move past the fact that this person that i used to share my entire life with just doesn't vibe with me on that level anymore and i'm supposed to be good with it and understand that seasons change and i keep it moving it's crazy but that's that's what life is that's that's what gives us re resilience that's what makes us stronger so the next time you know how to keep people you know how to manage relationships and then after the people part there is the money part that is not just the basic budget things it's more like yeah you budget you will pay for your electricity your water your groceries but then the unexpected expenses are for me those are like hilarious <laughs> when they come i'm like where do you where where did you even pop out from because you can suddenly just fall sick and you have hospital bills or something broke on the car that you have to fix those are bills you didn't plan but somehow again you're supposed to make sure you fix those things and keep it moving and that is adulting i've had a lot of conversations recently and the bottom line is a lot of us are surviving and for me that teaches me a lot because our parents we, we just surviving as much as we are now but at that time we didn't see us surviving because i remember when i was younger i asked my parents i want to buy something and they're like we don't have the money for that i'm like but you have money i saw it <laughs> you got money mama i saw it but then growing up i am over here restricting myself from buying certain things when i obviously have money saved but the money i have saved is not for buying that thing so i will deprive myself and not buy that thing but when my mommy did it i cried <laughs> so this 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 phase of my life has just been back-to-back -back reminder of why my parents did the thing they did and how i am not in that position and understanding their reasoning so yeah moving out becoming responsible adulting it makes you realize that the whole coming of age thing is not just about leaving your parents house falling in love doing the job you dream about and living life at large most of it is realizing your parents are real people and they were working out and they were working life out as much as i am now as, as much as you are now and that makes all the difference so next time you catch yourself struggling again being too hard on yourself while you are adulting i want you to remember that we are all just figuring this thing out as we go and if your parents could do it if they could raise you to be the man the woman the boss queen you are today you can do it too i have faith in you well i have faith in me too i think but yeah these are thoughts i've been sitting with for the past couple of weeks and i thought i'd share with you so thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> thank you for spending time with me and you know i might just do this often 
that's if you like it so if you like it let me know what resume <laughs> so if you like it let me know what resonated with you more in the comments and we can talk more so cheers to adulting to learning trying failing and figuring life out cheers Oh, thank you.